Hello, and welcome to Adult Storytime, or as we're calling it this month, Her Storytime, because we are celebrating Women's History Month. And today we are also celebrating Trans Day of Visibility. So with that being said, I'm going to feature Janet Mock from the wonderful book, Notable Native People by Adrienne Keene. You may have heard of Janet Mock, and if you're not sure, let me tell you why. Janet Mock is Kanaka Maoli. She was born in 1983. She's an author, entertainer, and transgender rights advocate. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about Janet. Janet Mock is a well-known author, talk show host, TV producer, director, and transgender rights advocate who grew up in urban Honolulu with her native Hawaiian mother and African-American father. Janet always knew who she was and began her gender transition as a freshman in high school. She spent some of her childhood in Texas and California, where she struggled in school and socially, but moved back to Hawaii when she was 12 to live with her mother. She credits her experiences growing up in Hawaii, where she had positive role models in trans friends, teachers, and community members as helping her to feel comfortable with her identity at a young age. After graduating from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, she attended New York University and earned a master's degree in journalism. She publicly came out as trans in an article in Marie Claire in 2011 while she was working as a staff editor at People magazine. The next year, her memoir, Redefining Realness, which is about her experiences in adolescence, was published and became a New York Times bestseller. She went on to host her own pop culture talk show, So Popular, while continuing to write, report, and contribute to many other media outlets. In 2018, Janet became a writer, producer, and director for the award-winning FX show, Pose, which follows the lives of five trans women in the New York City ballroom scene in the late 1980s. She was the first transgender woman of color to write and direct any television episode, and the show has been lauded for its inclusion of trans actors and accurate representations of trans life. In 2017, she spoke at the Women's March in Washington, D.C., calling attention to the role and struggles of trans women in the feminist movement and for the need to recognize those who came before. She said, I stand here today as the daughter of a native Hawaiian woman and a black veteran from Texas. I stand here as the first person in my family to go to college. I stand here as someone who has written herself onto this stage to unapologetically proclaim that I am a trans woman, writer, activist, revolutionary of color. And I stand here today because of the work of my forebears, from Sojourner to Sylvia, from Ella to Audrey, from Harriet to Marsha. Janet continues to build on the legacy of those women, forging a path for others to follow. Janet's story is amazing and transformative, and again, featured in Notable Native People by Adrienne Keene. So, I hope you enjoyed learning more about Janet, and I hope you decide to take some time today and learn more about Trans Day of Visibility and what you can do to support your local, regional, national, and worldwide trans community. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for joining me this entire month for Her Story Time and to celebrate Women's History Month. Thank you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, everyone.